Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you all of the different ways you can add the glass morphism blurry background effect here in Wix Studio. Now I know I've released a few tutorials on this in the past, but it's like every time I release a tutorial for it, there's a new method to do it. So hopefully this include all of the different ways that you can apply it. And hopefully there's no more new ways added in the future. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I know if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've probably seen a few videos where I've covered this topic already. I feel like every time I do, there's always a new method that gets released. And so in today's video, and hopefully for the final time, I'm going to show you all different methods for ways you can add glass morphism to your Wix websites. So first and foremost, we're going to start with the editor. So right here we have this container and if we come over here to the design tab, you're going to see an option to turn on apply glass effect. If we turn it on, you can kind of see that it applies like this kind of glassy texture to the container. The cool thing is, is we can of course adjust the brightness of the color and we can even adjust the intensity of the blur. So if we only want to be kind of a more subtle blur, we can do that. We can even turn the opacity of the color all the way down and literally just make it a blur effect if we want to. But we can, of course, apply a little bit of color. We can even change the color to be darker or maybe blue or whatever color you want. Um, but for now, just so you can see it easy on YouTube, I will leave it as white here. But you can kind of see the effects that you can get with just this blur intensity and background color. So you can kind of change that out very, very easily. The next method is an HTML embed. So the first method that I've ever covered here on the channel, we used an HTML embed to create this effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this HTML code, head back over to the editor, and I'm gonna come over to add. And in the quick add panel, there's an iframe. I'm just gonna add this to the container. And all I have to do is paste in that code. And here is where we can actually set the blur amount. So I'm just gonna set this to 25, so it's not too extreme. I'm also gonna go ahead and set the scale to two, so it fills up the entire iframe box. And you can even adjust the saturation and stuff if you want. But once you're happy with this, you can go ahead and press apply and then stretch it to the container. Now, obviously the container still has a background color. So what you can do is select the container and you can remove the background color completely or similar to what we did with this container over here, we can add maybe like a 30 pixel background color to it and it kind of gives it the same effect as doing it inside the editor. You can notice that there is a slight difference um, in this. And if I go ahead and preview the website, some you can notice that when your user hovers over the embed uh, and they accidentally scroll, there's some random scroll bar here and that's kind of annoying and there's nothing you can really do about it. Even if you do overflow, hidden and press update and we preview the website uh, that actually did work so never mind I guess that was fixed from when I initially first did that I'll be sure to update the code here in my HTML embed code again that will be linked in the description but it's kind of nice to know that that no longer is an issue but the last way to do it is used by using a website called css.glass so when you arrive on this website, you have these little toggles that you can kind of change everything. So transparency, and as I'm adjusting this, you can kind of see how like it's affecting this box up here. So we'll do that. The blur amount, we can raise this up a little bit. Color, if you want to change that. The outline, you can add that. And then once you're happy with the effect, you can copy CSS to clipboard. And if we head back over to Wix, what we're going to do is grab this container and we're going to come over here to our coding panel and turn on coding. Now we don't want to add this to our JavaScript panel. What we want to do is start a global CSS file here and we want to paste it in here. So if we paste this in here, obviously nothing is going to happen. So in fact, what we want to do is we want to say dot glass effect and we'll add some curly brackets. And then inside of this, that's where we're going to paste in this code. Once we do that, you're going to still notice that nothing has changed. So what we actually need to do is come over here to custom classes, make sure that our box is actually selected. And then we need to come over here and basically put in this 
class that we just created. So we're gonna call this glass effect and press enter. And just like that, you can see that we've added this effect. Now, in this specific effect, we have a border radius. So if you don't like that, remove that. It also has a box shadow. So if you don't want that, delete that. And then if you want the color to be similar to what we have over there with these other ones, we'll set the background color to 30 and we'll set the blur to 25, okay? And once we click off, you're gonna see it basically looks the same as these other ones that we have here. But as you can see, I've created the same glass effect using three different methods here in Wix Studio. And if I just go ahead and preview the website, you can kind of see how the glass morphism effect is working with all three. Honestly, there's not really much of a difference. I would say they actually look pretty much identical. Like there's no major quality difference in either choice that you choose here. So that's really good. I would say like the video isn't the highest quality, so it kind of makes it look low quality, but the glass effect itself looks really, really good with all three methods. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.